So here we have the GoPro Hero 7 Black with the mic adapter uh, dongle inside the um, little case that holds it on top of the, um, the GoPro case with the mic installed. A nice complete uh, compact package right there. Works out really well. Next we have the HDMI capture card, USB HDMI capture card, HDMI uh, in, USB. Uh, the one thing I have noticed, and you'll see it later um, when I kind of hook everything up, uh, the USB connection on this is extremely sensitive. Um, if it gets moved ever so slightly, it will uh, cut the signal. I don't know if that's an issue with mine or it's just uh, inherently bad. Uh, USB connection. Um, I've kind of had to crush the cable that I'm using a little bit to try to make it a little bit stiffer on it. Um, I'll kind of show that later. Next we've got the Raspberry Pi. I just bought the uh, Canna kit. This is the 4 gig model. Um, really the only thing we're using on this is uh, one of the USB inputs and then just the, uh, the power. We got the Anker battery. This powers the GoPro and the Raspberry Pi. Um, not using it to power the phone um, for the hotspot at the moment, uh, just because of where I have the phone located on the setup. Uh, this is uh, 20,000 uh, size. Um, it lasts pretty much all day powering the GoPro and the um, Raspberry Pi. And then this is the Stuntman uh, shoulder harness. Uh, this is really nice. This uh, kind of knuckle right here is really the best part of it. Uh, you can just pretty much rotate the camera into any angle that you need to and lock in. Um, keep it steady, but still be able to adjust it slightly and have it stay in place, which is really nice. Um, so this is really good. I've got this versus the, I do have the um, Stuntman uh, chesty, uh, but I use this, uh, it grabs onto the pack uh, really well, and it keeps it all contained versus having um, the camera on the chesty and then uh, having the setup on the backpack so I can take it off and everything stays in one thing. So I'll go ahead and get everything set up and then we will see kind of how I have it set up on the backpack. So just giving a quick overview, this is the overall uh, kind of wiring harness setup. Um, I know it was kind of strange, but I prefer uh, painter's tape versus electrical tape. Uh, it just comes off if I need it without a residue. Uh, mainly have on here just to keep the connectors from moving around inside the backpack and potentially cutting power or cutting signal. Uh, the rest of them are just to kind of keep things in place if I need to adjust them and whatnot. Uh, this is the connector that goes into the uh, USB capture card. Um, kind of crushed it a little bit uh, with some pliers just to give it a little bit better grip. Um, like I said, this part does not seem to be the issue. If I plug that directly into the Raspberry Pi or into this, if it gets moved ever so slightly, it just drops signal, um, which is really frustrating. But that's kind of what the raw wiring harness looks like. So I'll go ahead and get it all set up on the pack now and take a look at it. All right, so we got the backpack all wired up, got the battery with the two power connectors for the Pi and the GoPro in there. We've got the Raspberry Pi along with the capture card tucked away in here. All the additional wires um, of length have been tucked in here. If we flip this over, we've got kind of all the wires running along the shoulder strap here. And then the GoPro is obviously mounted. Uh, we've got the power running into uh, feed the GoPro. We're not running the battery, uh, so that's feeding that. Plug down into then the camera with the HDMI cable 
uh, plugged in right there. So that's kind of the setup right there. Once it's uh, shoulder strapped, uh, the middle connector right there kind of pulls it in, keeps it pretty steady. Uh, with it being on the right side there, it keeps the camera pretty much in the uh, kind of the center of the view as if it was on a chesty. Uh, so that's kind of the what the pack looks like. All right, so once you're out on the bike and ready to start the stream, we need to SSH into the Raspberry Pi. I use a program called Terminus to make the SSH connection. Uh, once you're in the Raspberry Pi, uh, you will start the uh, SH script, which I have kind of shown. It'll also be linked down in the description. Once we start that, um, you just want to make sure that the actual uh, kilobit rate is actually increasing. Uh, if you see it increasing towards your limit, uh, you're good. You can go ahead and then uh, disconnect from that uh, screen session and then close out and go check and verify that it is actually running um, in the Twitch app. We'll go ahead, just go to your channel, just validate that it is live. And then you can either um, watch and monitor the stream and chat within the Twitch app. If you do that, I recommend setting the quality down to the lowest. Um, I prefer to actually use the pop-out chat. So I close Twitch then and go ahead and open up Safari. I like Safari because you can um, easily increase or decrease the font size to um, kind of make it easier to see and read chat while you're out. Uh, one nice thing um, about this setup is if you do need a little bit of privacy, uh, you can just disconnect the HDMI cable that will cut video and sound, um, but will not disconnect the connection to Twitch. Uh, so as soon as you reconnect the HDMI, audio and video uh, will resume. Uh, if you need to kill the stream for whatever reason, you can just kill the hotspot on your phone, or you can open up the SSH connection back to the Raspberry Pi and uh, reconnect and kill that um, command and that'll stop the stream. You can kind of see I have the phone uh, mounted on the handlebars using a quad lock uh, case and mount. Um, I then have a small um, battery pack in the handlebar feed bag which I use to uh, power the phone um, and the hotspot uh, since the main battery for the GoPro and the Pi is in the backpack that way kind of keep everything uh, separate and mobile. I also have the stream kind of at a widescreen 480p uh, resolution um, and a maximum of 2000 uh, kilobits. For my area this seems to work really well. I prefer a very smooth stable stream to one that is more um, high quality and detailed uh, it's just personal preference I think it's uh, I think it's better to just have it uh, completely stable and in my area that seems to work really well 